This right here is my website, and I have a lot of users. We're getting close to a terabyte of bandwidth usage per month, and I'm able to load a lot of images fairly quickly. So if you scroll through my website, you'll notice the images load pretty much instantaneous, and that's because we optimize them. All these images are optimized for mobile usage, for desktop usage, making sure I don't use as much bandwidth. And I've had uh, well over, I think, several hundred articles listed on the website now to where I can actually use all these images on pretty much any platform and take them anywhere because all the images from all the articles together is less than 100 megabytes, if you can believe that. But that's because I have a little optimization script that I wanted to share with everyone. So if you do website design or you just want to share a, uh, an image and not have it look like crap, but also be at a very small size, this is the video for you. Because this script will go through, you just set it at a folder and then push it and it'll just optimize anything in that folder in any subfolders. So it's pretty awesome. We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. But first, uh, we're going to be using Linux for this just because it's going to be a little bit better. If you're using Windows, I would highly recommend installing Power Toys and they have an image resizer that does an okay job. It's really good at limiting the resolution of images, which is uh, where most of the, the actual size come from on those images, unless you use like a really high image with, with some thumbnails and other things. That, that can be problematic for those Windows users. You're going to do a little bit more than just decreasing the resolution. This is a one-stop shop for Linux, though. So when you're in here, it'll change the resolution. It'll go ahead and optimize both PNG and JPEG. But if you want to go even more, let's say I have I get up to a million website users and I still want to be around a terabyte, I could even convert all my images from like PNG over into like WebP. And that would even optimize it further to where those that would be, I think, about a 30 or 40 percent size reduction. But even with several hundred articles over the past uh, more than 10 years I've been writing on ChrisTitus.com, I only have... I think around 50 megs worth of images all hosted on github so that's kind of insane that i can optimize that much but so many people just do hey i'm gonna copy this whole page and then just leave it without optimizing so enough talk let's get into actually installing these commands uh i made this custom script that we're going to use and we're going to go ahead and install all this i made little scripts if you're on debian use this one i'm on arch today so We'll just put this in. We're installing yay, JPEG Optum, Opta PNG, image, and then WebP, uh, just in case we ever want to do that. And then we're cloning the IMG optimize into our home folder and then linking it to the system resource bin file so we can have access to it anywhere we go. So let's go ahead and install all this stuff. With that done, we are all optimized, ready to go, and we can utilize my script right here. Now this script, there's a couple commands that you need to know. Really, these are the ver three variables that you'll set. Mine right now is set for home, Titus, GitHub, website, comage, images. This is gonna do all my images which <laughs> we don't have time for that. So we're gonna change that folder. We can set the max width here at 800. We can set the max height right here. And then it goes through, and with any time you do a script online, look at each line, it's gonna find in that folder any JPEG or PNG files. And then it's gonna execute a convert, which uses image, image magic K and resizes it. So it'll resize your resolution, much like the image resizer in Windows does. And then we have IMG optimized. Now this is the special thing that gets done because it'll go through and even clean up and optimize and compress those images further. That makes it to where you can just have almost a, a thousand images and not take up any room. So we're gonna copy this and then come over to here. Now I'm gonna jump over to my website and come into images. And if we do a uh, Vim Opti, you can see these, oh man, I. <laughs> we have a spelling miss error. And then we have width appears unused, verify of its use. We have it right here. It just did not read it. And we can see the newer version of Image Magic K. If you're on Debian, this script will work right out of the box. But if you're on Arch, I think I need to switch it up just a hair. So I'm going to switch this to just a resize of the width that keeps the ratio. 
Uh, if you wanted to do height here, you could actually just put an X before this variable name, and that's going to resize it to the height instead of the width. But having said that, let's rerun our optimization script and see if we find anything. And I didn't really see too much there, uh, but I'm just going to double check my website, make sure I didn't mess anything up. A little bit fuzzy. Not too bad, though, considering this is, I think, like two or three kilobits, and I just kind of wanted to make it... Uh, around 800 maximum width for a lot of these guides so everyone can see everything but it's not killing the bandwidth of the site either but play around with this uh the big thing here is just come into the optimizing images look through it i i know there's a lot more optimizations to take place let me know your favorite settings down below or if maybe i missed a tool that you use let me know that as well and with that i'll see you in the next one